Hi guys, welcome to Electrics. Today we are going to solve some interesting problems in maximum power transfer theorem. Let's see the questions. Assuming both the voltage sources are in phase, the value of R for which the maximum power is transferred from circuit A to circuit B. The options are A 0.8 ohm, B 1.4 ohm, C 2 ohm, D 2.8 ohm. Actually, this question was asked in the gate 2012 electrical bar EC. Okay. All of you please think for a while how we can solve it. Okay. Usually, the students approach these questions. They are, they are equalizing the source impedance and the load impedance. But in this question, the load is not a resistive load. It's a combination of resistance capacitors and some voltage source. So actually it is a load network, right? So that met method will not work. Okay. Our previous video, we already found that a condition for maximum power transfer theorem is if the load voltage should be equal to the half of the supply voltage. Okay. I'm applying this equation to here. I'm considering the circuit B as a load and circuit A as a source, right? So the source voltage is 10 volt and the load voltage is equal to 10 divided by 2 that is equal to 5 volt means that the voltage across the load is 5 volt right next I'm just find the current through the 2 ohm resistance current through the 2 ohm resistance is equal to here the voltage across here it is 10 and here it is 5 so the potential difference is equal to 10 minus 5 divided by 2 that is equal to 5 by 2 ampere right you just see actually the same current will enter to the load side also right so next my objective is to find the current through the R ohm resistance so the current through the R ohm resistance is equal to here it is 5 volt what is the voltage across here because these 3 volt and the capacitors are connected in parallel. So the voltage across the capacitance is 3. So the voltage across the resistance is 5 minus 3 divided by R. That is equal to 2 divided by R. Ampere is the current. Then you just see the figure. Actually this 2 ohm and the R ohm are connected in series. So the current flows through both the resistance are same. So you just equating this. That is 5 by 2 is equal to 2 divided by R. From this, R is equal to 4 divided by 5 ohm. That is equal to, we can solve this and we'll get the 0.8 ohm is the right answer. So actually, the right answer is option A is the right one. Okay. Hope all of you understand this video. Thank you. Thank you so much.